capsule wardrobe for a week that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you are interested in what I wear during the week, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications for when I upload videos. And let's get started. Hello fashion sellers. Hello. Excuse the way I look. I've got no lipstick on all my scar and I haven't done my hair yet. It's Sunday today and as you know I do not do an outfit of the week on a Sunday. But I'm doing something a little bit different and I've never done this before and I found it a little bit challenging as well. And it was inspired by um, a subscriber for the capsule wardrobe. So I'm doing a capsule wardrobe for a week. So I'm going to show you the outfits that I am planning to wear all this week. And it's very limited and <laughs> it's very black and white in, in a way as well. <laughs> anyway, so let me just show you what I plan to wear this week. Okay. So I have only limited myself to uh, two pairs of footwear. So I've got my one pair of my ankle, a pair of my black ankle boots and some black shoes. Um, I've also got two belts, one's a thick belt and one's a narrow belt. And what I plan to do as well is to make sure I only use one belt, so I won't be use, I won't be wearing both at the same time. A scarf. I don't know why, why I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> um, a pair of gloves and one piece of jewellery. Blue denim, jeans, and a couple, well more than a couple, three camisole tops and three camisole tops and a cardigan, one handbag and a this is a refashioned skirt. It's a cargo cargo inspired skirt. I have here three items that I've designed, patterned and drafted. So that's a blouse, a dress and black pants. You've seen those before. And I've also got a man's jacket and a vintage leather jacket. So what I did was I tried to limit, try to make it as classic and as simple as possible and to make sure that I am, I've got enough clothes that I'll only have to wash one, you know, a couple of items because I need to wear a couple of items a couple of times. And I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm, got, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but it has been kind of challenging because I have actually, um, changed things around several times and it's like Colleen just go for basics hence the reason I have chosen to make sure I've included a pair of denim jeans I've gone for black pants um, a black skirt a white blouse so I've kind of kept it simple and classic and basic and introduced items such as a vintage jacket and a man's jacket and things that I have actually designed and pattern drafted and sewn and a refashioned item and everyone's got you know jeans in their wardrobe haven't they no matter what colour it is and yeah so hopefully I'm going to depend on the weather yes it isn't cold enough to to add like a a coat but um yeah the weather will have something to say in, in what I actually wear so yeah that should be quite interesting so I will see you on Monday. So this is the capsule wardrobe week of fashion. And I started with the leather jacket, bath style or aviator style jacket. It is raining and damp. So yeah, so I start the week wearing my leather jacket. I started with this scarf just to give it a pop of colour and a bit of interest because I'm wearing all black. I'm 
wearing the skirt, which I have refashioned. They were combat pants and that's a combat skirt. So um, I'm showing you those in a moment and I'm wearing my athlete boots. So yes, this is pretty interesting. Just limiting myself to what I told you yesterday that um, I'm going to be wearing all week and I've just got this camisole underneath as well. Got that camisole underneath, one with the lace, in lace, and I'm wearing the narrow belt as well. Put it around the waistline just to kind of add a little bit more interest. I've added the belt, the narrow belt, to the leather jacket. I think it just adds just that extra touch to the jacket, other than having it without. Yeah, I think I'll always wear this belt when I'm wearing this jacket, when I'm wearing it closed. I mean, I've worn this jacket a few times, but I've never worn it with a belt, and I do really like it with the belt. So I've learned something from this capsule wardrobe week so far. And I've got hip pockets in my skirt, so I can always be posing like so. Slit in the back, and it's a fitted skirt, but yes, I can walk in it. So, the bag I'll be wearing it as a clutch bag, and it's got all the zip trim around it, and that kind of picks up from all the zips that are in the jacket, which is really interesting, and also the belt, so it's given a lot of attention to the top part of my outfit. And the scarf really does break, break that blackness that's happening. And yeah, I'm happy with that, with that look. Like to finish off this look, I am going to be wearing my gloves because I am a lover of gloves. I think I love wearing gloves more than I wear. Of wearing sunglasses. No, I think it's for the people. <laughs> so I will be. I've got my gloves in my bag. And yeah, I've, I've, I've just got to. Um, it's, it probably isn't cold enough for gloves, but um, you know, when they are part of your fashion statement, yes, one has just got to wear them. Hasn't one? Yes. And uh, I haven't really given that much attention to the gloves, so you either notice them or you, or you don't notice them because uh, I mean I've got a few that are different colours and yes, yeah, if I wear black, it's usually because it's going to be conflicting with something else but yeah so I'll show you what that looks like see how it just finishes the outfit the gloves with the bag just go a bit further you see the gloves my boots bag yeah I like this outfit yeah it's come well it's come together well I'm here just trying to create a little bit of drama. Drum roll, please. Yeah. <sighs> okay. This is my outfit <laughs> that I'm going to be wearing today. Um, the weather's okay, it's warm, but it's a bit drizzly. And I'm wearing a headscarf and I am the spitting image of my mum, of my mother. My mother used to always wear lots of headscarves when I was younger and me and my sister, when we always played wrestle, we'd always be wearing headscarves just to be like mum. And yeah, when I put my headscarf on today, it was like, hello mum. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really do look like, I am, I am sitting with it on my mum anyway and everyone's always told me that over the years but I mean when I looked in the mirror today it was like mum, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> anyway, so yeah I'm wearing a headscarf and this is the first time I've ever worn a headscarf I don't know why I've got my glasses on, I probably do know why <laughs> but let me just take them off, is because I'm wearing scarves and I will wear them in as many different ways as I possibly can think of. But I've never actually worn it on my head in this way. 
um, in order to go out. And I am going to be one of those people who stands by their word, because in my last video before this one, I actually did say, um, if you want to build your confidence in wearing what you want to wear, then I use the example with a scarf. So um, I've got confidence wearing my scarf in many different ways, and I've had confidence that the people like it or not, don't care. And my head scarf, oh, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm being honest. And I know, I, I just know, I just know I'm gonna get lots of stairs. Just know that. Because you do, don't you? And yeah, um, I, didn't, I didn't have to comb my hair this morning, which is good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to be using the glasses. <laughs> So that, I mean, this guy's and nobody recognises me, I suppose. Um, but no, I just think it finishes it off. It finishes off the look. So yeah, it's slipping a bit, and I did try to put a hair clip in, but it just looked, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing a man's jacket, and I twisted the scarf around my neck and created a little bow detail like that. And I've got my necklace on and I belted the jacket into my jeans, I'm wearing jeans and I'm wearing shoes and yeah, I've got my bag and I'm wearing it as a clutch like that. So yeah, ooh, <laughs> my hair scarf. It's what I look like from the back. crossed over my jacket and I belted it in and like the fact that my necklace is here causing a little bit of hopefully, well not hopefully, um, some, dis some distraction <laughs> and yeah my clutch is under my arm it's a good position for it to be so there's a lot of, of um, I'm going to say the word activity going on here but there's a lot of attention a lot of detail that's going on here with the bag, the belt, the necklace and you know, a little bit visual, obviously, is this head scarf. And I'm wearing my blue denim jeans, and I've turned those up, and my shoes. Okay, I'm ready to go out now, step out through the door. Yes, I've got quite a few stairs. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get up to lots more. But yeah, it's it's a bit drizzly. And yeah. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Wednesday. And I'm in a deep cardigan. Yes, can you see correctly? My belt. <laughs> is above my bust line and it looks amazing so this is another option that you can have to wearing your belt if you don't want to wear it at your waistline or your hip area then you can always wear it okay that's the best part. Hello, is not a fashion person whatsoever and he hasn't even noticed that I'm wearing my belt above my breast because <laughs> he just thinks fashion is weird anyway even if it's very simple and classic so the fact that he hasn't even noticed this and made a comment <laughs> is telling me that because of the cardigan and all the pattern that's in the cardigan is kind of not emphasizing that the belt is here so if it's an option that you want to try for yourself you can do just make sure you're wearing a very busy cardigan or jumper or blouse um yeah would i wear this again with a simple white blouse or cardigan absolutely and you will be the first to know so i would absolutely go and see if you actually notice and see what he thinks so bear me one moment 
yeah. <laughs> I was standing there, I was posing, and I was asking him, is there anything you notice about me? I did a twirl, and no, he didn't. He didn't notice anything, so it's like, babes, don't you notice anything about me? And then as soon as you notice the belt, it's like, really? <laughs> and so, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's 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 a good trick if you want to actually try it. Someone will not notice straight away, and sometimes you have to draw your attention to you know you wearing something a bit different than usual. So this is a good trick. Just remember to if you're not confident enough to wear it with just a plain colour, whatever that colour is, orange, red, blue, whatever, then wear a busy you know cardigan or jumper and then you can experiment with this. But I am loving it. It's been a while since I've worn my belt above here. And I did want to wear it with the other belt, and I did try that, and it's not, it looks okay. But I think it looks better with two narrow belts. And I said I was only gonna wear one of the belts during this week. So um, I will definitely try it again with the bigger belt and narrow belt, and also two narrow belts. It's, I like it. I am liking it, yay! Green stock, okay. <laughs> so this one looks like at the back. And I'm wearing the black pants with it. I wish I had pockets though, because I think if I had pockets, I could do the posing thing. So next time I, I, I do this sort of thing, I'll definitely be wearing my pants with pockets. So I am going to be wearing gloves. I'll put those on. And I've got uh, my sunglasses as my hair accessory to keep my hair back and in place. And my gloves. Just finishes off the outfit, and it's, it's nice. I do like it. Yeah, I just think it makes it all complete. And with the belt, the gloves, and the shoes, you know, it just brings it all into context. And also the bag so I'm not having it as a clutch which is really good for this bag so I made sure I chose this bag so I had options so I wasn't always either you know having a bag that I just can handle or strap to that I brought on my shoulder so it's got a chain as a strap and it's too long it really is it's almost sweeping the floor and, but I do want to have it in, in my hand I don't want to be wearing it on my shoulder because I want this to be the intention. Even though that may help with giving a bit more attention, but I just want to carry it in my hand, so I'm going to put a knot in that book. Before I do, I'll show you what it looks like um, before I do that. So I'll just give you a close up of the belt. The bag is, it's literally dragging on the floor, I can hear it. So I'm going to put a knot in that. Yep. So I'm just going to put a, a knot in my chain, like so. I mean, I suppose this will be better if I don't have any gloves on. Excuse me a moment. Right, I'm going to take the gloves off. And I'm going to put the knot to the side. So it's loose it. And then push it through like so. Yeah, that's better. So it hangs like that. You can put it anywhere, really. But I'm, yeah, I have to leave it in there. Perhaps we do it a bit further down, but that's okay. So I'm going to put my gloves back on. I really like this card and it's got really long sleeves. And the other one. There we go. Now I'll just do my model walk again. You see now it looks better, it's not dragging on the floor and it is, it is a good length, 
in good proportions to my footwear and my gloves and also the belt. shortened it and just tied it around the back. I'll just show you the back. And it's just a simple sheet dress, it's just straight and I'm wearing my ankle boots. And to just play with the same theme of just paring it down a little bit and just give it a bit more of a casual look. I am wearing my gloves. And yes, same back. But what I've done this time is I've shortened the handle a lot more. And I'll show you that technique in another video. I'm sure I'll be sporting this back again. So yeah. So I don't want to have it as a clutch because I, I would do if I was wearing this in, in you know knee sort of thing. Um have a clutch, not not this one, but um, um wear it as a clutch and I just think it's quite elegant when you do so but I just want to dress it down so I've got a bag which I'll be holding in my hand. See how it is better proportions in my hand with a shorter handle to it and the boots just, ankle boots just kind of help with just dressing the whole dress down and give it a more casual kind of feel. I'm in my white blouse and black pants and it's almost coming to the end of the week, it's Friday today and the sun is out gorgeous day, it's nice and warm, so I will be wearing my sunglasses. So, the capsule wardrobe week, yeah, it's been, um, not difficult, but challenging is the word. Yeah, it's been a little bit challenging, nothing that I've had any particular drama about. If I had any drama about any of my outfits this week, it's probably this one. Um, not really sure why. Maybe because I wanted my asymmetrical earrings. I just don't feel quite complete. But then again, I put something on and then it's like, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, 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 it looks good. So, um, yeah. So I've got my necklace on my back now. They're all the same necklace I've been wearing all week, but I've kept it short, so I've tied it around the back. And um, I'll show you the back of my brows. And I've given the blouse a slightly rugged look. I, wanted, I didn't want a clean, crisp look. So what I did was just pull my sleeves up like so, just to give it a slight you know, ruggedness to my outfit that I want to kind of give it a different feel. And I think I've achieved that. So I've got the back of the blouse out and the front tucked into my waistband and I'm wearing the big belt and hoisted up the pants just a little bit because I wanted uh, my shoes, the straps around my ankles to show a little bit more. It just means that the pants would have been slightly shorter. Um, but you know, when you are restricted to <laughs> mixing and matching within a gas wardrobe, this is the sort of thing you need to do. But it feels comfortable and that's the most important thing. And that's fine. I'm happy the way the sleeves are. Um, yeah, I just want that ruggedness to it, so that's fine. Um, there's nothing else to really mention apart from how I'm going to accessorise it, um, which you all know it's going to be my bag, which is this bag. 
um, I had a chain, I kept the chain as is on this, just as a decorative feature, but I will be using it as a clutch. So it's just kind of like a decorativeness, but I wanted to, I could always hold it by the strap, but no, this, this is the way I wanted it to. Yeah, I'm feeling the pockets, <laughs> chose the wrong trousers. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the way I want to uh, be sporty it, let's say. And because I have got any rings or earrings in, I just drop one glove and ski me one moment. There we go. So yeah, I'm wearing gloves. Even though the sun is out and it's a very warm day, it's all about the outfit, isn't it? So yes, I feel complete now. Yes, I really do. So I hope my sleeves are not going to be falling down for all day. This one is this one isn't as much. No, not at all actually. But um, yeah. Oh, let me just get my sunglasses out of my bag. So the, the glasses, the bag, the gloves, the accessories just really completes the way that I look and I feel a lot more comfortable than when I first started when I started to get dressed. I thought something was missing and it was probably my earrings but then I made up with the gloves. It's a side profile, so my back, the chain detailing, and my tail at the back on my shirt, taken out, nice lines going on, and then my shoes. So that is my look. So this week was inspired by a subscriber's comment who was asking me if I've ever done a capsule wardrobe and I haven't. I've never limited myself to a certain amount of clothing that I had to wear. Oh, I didn't have to wear, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, that I had to wear for a week. I, I did it only for a week because it's the first time I've done something like this. I have I well, really enjoyed it, funny enough. And the reason why, it brought up the creativity within me, making sure that I could put a certain twist on, an, on, on a look that I probably wouldn't have done if I had the choice of what's in my wardrobe. And that is, that's interesting. That is really interesting. As a person who's, who's very creative and, you know, a designer and stuff, it's, it's, it's a new angle on trying to be imag imaginative with how you dress when you are only allowed to wear a certain amount of clothing and changing them from one to the other and you know how you're going to wear for example my jeans um, which I've worn already, I've worn it in a different style today um, so yeah that was really interesting, would I do this again? Yes, I would. I give myself a longer um, time, a longer period in which to do it, and more choices of garments as well. But um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it. It has been challenging compared to my black and white. I actually thought my black and white um, week would be really challenging, but it wasn't. I think it's because I've got so many, you know, so many items of black and so many items of white. So the choice was, um, yeah, was. In a way, I suppose limitless, really. But um, yeah, this is interesting. So um, thank you for for uh, mentioning that. So today, is Saturday, the last day, and I'm wearing the cardigan, like I said, of my jeans, and I've thrown the jacket over my shoulder. So I'll be wearing a jacket like a cape. The weather is nice. The sun has been in and out. So and um, so yeah, I should be I should be warm. Um, I put the scarf around my neck. I've doubled it and twisted it and tucked it into my cardigan. And yeah, like I said, I've got the 
jacket on, like a cape. This is a man's jacket as well, by the way, which looks amazing on women's bodies. If you want to go down that route and wearing men's jackets, I love men's tailoring, very exquisite. The cardigan, which you've seen before, um, the only twist on this is that the I'm used wearing the narrow belt and I've not put it through the belt loop. I put it under the belt loops just because. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I'm wearing my boots. So yeah, that's how I look for today. And the bag I will be carrying is obviously, you know, this is the only one that I had throughout the whole of the week. Can't wait to have more choice of bags to be sporting. Um, so I've got the chain away and I'm just gonna carry it as a clutch. So it will be like this. This is my jacket. Throws across my shoulders. And tuck it in there like so. And that's how I will be wearing this look. Belt, like I said, it's not in the belt loose, it's just got it in that position. And my boots, they are the same jeans I had earlier in the week, obviously. Um, when, you, when they're not turned up, they are slightly flared towards the hemline and slightly cropped as well. tip of the week is if you want to challenge yourself to wearing a limited amount of clothing such as a capsule wardrobe for a week do give it a try I think that you will find a lot of creative ways in which to wear the same item the second time round and I just found it totally inspiring I know that for a fact that if I hadn't done this, done this um, challenge, that I probably wouldn't have worn my narrow belt with my leather jacket, and I've worn that leather jacket a number of times, and it just didn't cross my mind, but I knew I wanted to give it a different look, um, and the belt came in, yeah, came to the rescue. So um, I hope that has helped in order for you to challenge yourself a little bit, and maybe do a capsule water for a week and see if you can, inspire yourself and challenge yourself and find that creative inner self in order to make sure that when you do wear that item again it does have a certain twist to it so that will be my tip this week so if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my outfits of the week please do consider subscribing and do remember to hit the bell in order to receive notifications if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please do share and i will see you in the next video